Hey YouTube, David Staples, back with another video. So today I want to talk to you about one of the things that I get asked quite frequently uh, by people who are looking at taking the CompTIA Security Plus exam. And that question is, what is the best book that I can buy to help me prepare for the CompTIA Security Plus SY0-401 exam? So what is the best book that you can purchase to prepare for the CompTIA Security Plus SY0-401? I personally recommend the book that I've got down in the description below. Uh, there's a link to it, but it is a book by Daryl Gibson called CompTIA Security Plus Get Certified, Get Ahead SY0-401 Study Guide. Uh, this is actually the book that I use in the class that I teach for the Security Plus, and it's a rather nice thick book as you can see it's not just you know a little pamphlet or something like that uh, it's got 11 chapters in here packed full of information it's got some practice questions in there uh, that you can test your knowledge at the end of every chapter uh, it's got a pretest that you can take as well as well as uh, a whole bunch of other types of reference materials one of the things that I really like about the book is in the back of it it also actually has this acronym list so you can say here appendix A acronym list and there's all sorts of different acronyms through there and it is a fairly thick section of acronyms uh, looks like a little over 20 pages 22 24 pages something like that of just acronyms now I know that that sounds like a lot and you're right it is it's a lot of acronyms but if you've taken the exam before and you didn't pass the first time you probably noticed the number of acronyms on the exam right so the exam does have a number of acronyms on there in fact you know, I obviously can't go into details because of the confidentiality agreement that when you take an exam you're not allowed to talk about the actual things you see on there but in general terms I can tell you that as you're taking the exam when it asks a question it might have four or five answers down below and it could be all acronyms for all four or five of those answers so if you don't know what those acronyms mean of course you may not do all that well on the exam because of course you need to be able to understand what those acronyms stand for and what those technologies are behind the acronym to really be able to answer the question unless of course you just decide to go for kind of like a lottery thing where you just randomly pick C right uh, circling C as if you actually fill in a bubble you actually kind of click on C on the exam I guess you do fill in the bubble with the radio button though right uh, those radio buttons by the way for those who aren't familiar with development terms that's the little circle that you click on and then it fills it in with a dot in the development world we call those radio buttons it's not actually pushing a button to change the station in your car but that's besides the point so again the, the book that I typically recommend is going to be by Daryl Gibson it is going to be the security plus get certified get ahead SY0-401 study guide again there's a link in the description below where you can actually purchase it I believe it's just a little over thirty dollars at the moment on Amazon and definitely well worth every penny uh, I know that some of the certification books that I've purchased in the past have been forty, fifty, sixty, seventy dollars and more, and so for thirty dollars or thirty-five dollars or so, definitely a really, really good deal. Uh, he does go into some details as far as things that are not even on the objectives, but they cover them in the book because other people have actually seen them on the exam. Uh, just to give you one example out of a few, uh, I know that I've had students come back to me and ask, you know, what is port fourteen thirty-three? in this Microsoft SQL Server, but did you see that on the exam? And obviously they did, but they said, you know, it was on the exam, and so we go and look, and of course it's not in the objectives. So you very well could see some things that are on the exam that are not on the objectives from CompTIA. So that's where a book like Daryl's comes in really handy. Now, obviously, the best thing that you can do is to actually take a course with an instructor like me where you know, we do talk to people that take these exams on a very regular basis so as the questions change we actually get the feedback as far as you know what did you see that we didn't cover in class uh, what did you not do well on you know what could we do better and of course you know we're able to provide information on those types of things so when they talk about things on the exam or when they ask questions on the exam that aren't covered in the objectives we get that immediate feedback and that's not something you're going to find in one of these books but Obviously not everyone has the money to take one of those types of training courses, so uh, if you don't and you're just looking for a book to buy, go ahead and check out the link down in the description below to get your own copy of Daryl's book. 
Um, you know, he is definitely very well qualified. You can see his qualifications down below. Uh, lists him as being A+, Network+, plus, Security+, plus, CASP, ISC2, SSCP, and CISP, CISSP certified as well. Um, I know that we have talked to CompTIA uh, directly about the different resources that we use to teach the Security Plus class, and they said this is definitely a very good choice. I at least can stand behind this book saying that uh, we've had a really good success rate with students going and taking the exam uh, with, of course, instructor help teaching through these different topics, as well as going to, through and doing the reading in the evenings because Daryl does actually explain these types of concepts really well in his book as well. Uh, just to kind of give you a little review of some of the things that are in here, uh, the chapters, it does have 11 chapters in here. And so chapter one is Mastering Security Basics. We've also got Exploring Control Types and Methods that you need to be familiar with. Uh, chapter three is going to be Understanding Basic Network Security. Uh, securing Your Network is chapter four. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of networking concepts on the exam because, of course, securing your network is part of computer security, right? IT security. So if you can go into the exam with a good knowledge of networking, uh, you should certainly do a lot better. Um, networking is definitely one of the big, big things in this exam that you definitely want to make sure that you understand as much about networking as you possibly can coming into it. Uh, chapter 5 gets into how to secure various different hosts and data. Uh, chapter 6 gets into malware and social engineering. 7 is advanced attacks and how to identify those. Uh, chapter 8 gets into managing risk. Uh, of course, one of the things that we have to consider as a security type role is to actually manage that risk as well as the threats and vulnerabilities uh, in our own networks and in our systems. Uh, chapter 9 gets into business continuity. Chapter 10 is understanding cryptography. And then chapter 11 is going to be exploring operational security. Uh, of course, if you've heard me talking about that I teach a lot of classes for the military pretty much all over the U.S. I uh, haven't done one in Hawaii yet though, so if there's anyone in Hawaii in the military watching this video, I am happy to come out and teach a Security Plus or a Linux Plus or any other sort of course that you'd like me to come out for. Just saying. Of course, OPSEC is definitely a very big priority for the military. Uh, but they certainly have done very well in using this book to prepare for the Security Plus exam. Uh, and of course, there are a bunch of practice questions in here as well, both the pretest as well as questions at the end of every chapter. Uh, so again, if you're looking for the best book that I can recommend to prepare for the CompTIA Security Plus SY0-401, click on that link below to get your own copy today. As you can see, I'm not just reviewing it because I found it on Amazon. I actually do have a copy here. Uh, you might be able to tell it's well loved. It has traveled back and forth across the country multiple times. It's even been to Alaska. So a very well traveled book here. Uh, so Daryl, if you're watching this, thanks a bunch for writing it. We certainly love it. Uh, the PowerPoint presentations that go along with it, very, very handy uh, in helping me kind of talk through a lot of this material. In the meantime, as you can see, I'm sitting in a hotel room, so it's time to call it night and uh, get working on preparing some stuff for tomorrow. And uh, if anyone has any questions, feel free to leave any comments down below. And be sure to click on that like button down here as well. And one last thing, be sure to subscribe. That way you can be alerted of future videos coming up. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in a future video. You guys take care. We'll see you soon.